Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. What are we doing today? Well, funny enough, one of the things I forgot, because I forget every single year when I was doing well, what to expect in the upcoming month of Dragalia, is that I forgot that the Fago actually does its own thing that they don't do in Japan, which is the Advent Calendar. So for today, I'm going to look over what we got over the two previous years and kind of take a guess at what we could potentially be getting. We should be getting the first night here, which we'll probably take a guess. I'm going to guess it's going to be some Saint Quartz. I actually don't know, so by the time this video releases, I'm going to be either right or wrong. So we'll see which one it is. So let's go into it. So this started back in, I think, 2020? Let me see if I can actually find one that is even older. Um, it has been... I forget when they started it, but... There we go. 2019 was in it. it was... So it must have started in 2019. Up until that point, we did not get an advent calendar. So there we go. This was the very first one. And yeah, you basically log in every single day. And you get tiny little gifts from here on out. Day one, day two, day stuff like that. In terms of a total amount, on the first year we got it, we got one, count it, one ticket, 50 mana prisms, 2,000 friend points, 5 million QP, 25 EXP of the 4 star variety, 6 foes, 3 attack and 3 HP, 30 quarts in total. In total. Uh, <laughs> one forbidden page, four chains, four apples, uh, golden apples specifically, three voids refuse, one heart, one black tallow, and one bizarre godly wine. Okay, not bad for a first year kind of going out for something that no one was expecting to happen because like I said, this does not happen on JP. Now let's see what happened the next year. See, now this time they consolidated a lot of the stuff we got. <laughs> we got two summon tickets, 2k friend points, which is the exact same I want to say. Sure is. 12 million QP, 60 mana prism, 3 silver apples, 10 golden apples, 21 4 EXP, and 35 Saint Quartz in total. Uh, so obviously we got a lot more of the good stuff and a lot less of the bad stuff. <laughs> a lot of the stuff we don't need, like uh, having just three random foes doesn't help anyone and these uh, materials are not enough for it to actually matter. So they definitely focused it in and made it better in the next year. And this is what we got last year. Five golden tickets. 12 million QP, which is the same. This was the same. No, oh no, say 2k friend points. 2k friend points is the exact same. Three golden apples and no silver apples. So we got less apples. 70 mana prisms. 30 sink. We got less sink quartz. And 25 EXP cards. Man, this one, mm, to be fair, I guess I would rather take more tickets. When you do the equation, which is like three summon tickets, is the equivalent to nine Saint Quartz. So it is better to get the tickets over three Saint Quartz, depending on how many Saint Quartz. If it's five, if you're trading five Saint Quartz for, um, for three tickets, then it is worth it then it is uh, the math checks out and you're all good but as you can see here they really boiled it down to what is the bare essentials here so uh, what we can expect from this obviously tickets qp golden apples mana prisms sq uh saint quartz 30 at the very least 2k friend points and then 20 i really hope okay so my hope is is that instead of 4 exp it turns into 5 exp because we have it now we may as well get it but let's see, I want to say every year started off with either a ticket or St. Quartz. Yep, one ticket. So that means this year there's going to be exactly one ticket on the advent calendar. So let's see, this is the most recent one, so this is the best to base it off of. One ticket, one million QP, three golden apples. Did we really get all the golden apples at once? Crazy. Three golden apples, ten mana prisms, three St. Quartz, two million, two K... And then you kind of go back and forth, back and forth until we get 15 at the end, which I believe has always been the same. No matter what is the final day is always 15 St. Quartz. So that's what I would expect here from here on out. Here's the thing. Um, this happens every single year, I want to say, since the advent calendar has shown up. The one thing people will always want in this advent calendar is the thing that we never seem to get. And that is the four star guaranteed ticket. 
Um, let me see if I can find the last time we got the four. Uh, so the four star guarantee ticket is exactly what it says. It is a select a four star, and at this point, I don't think we get one until. Damn, on JP, when the fuck did we get that ticket? It was. It took a very long time for us to get. We're not looking for another one of these. The reason is, is that they replaced the four star ticket with the five star ticket, and because of the way the game works. People didn't want one ticket to go away. They wanted both tickets. <laughs> it wasn't a situation of like, no, we hate the four-star ticket. It was a situation of, we want both tickets. I don't know why you've suddenly decided that we should only have one ticket. It seems silly. And they're right, it is very silly. Where is that four-star ticket? Where does it come up for in JP timeline? It has to be for an anniversary or a download celebration. Hmm... No, I'm on the... Am I on the JP side? No, I'm not on the JP side. Time to go to the JP side of the server. And look way back in time. Okay, 2021. I think we would be expecting it sometime around the 6th anniversary, maybe? Let me see if I can find it. Uh, no, it's not in here. No, it's not a part of this. It has to be probably be a part of a big down. It has to be post. Yeah, it has to be past. If I remember correctly, Zenobia is on it. So it has to be past this point. It has to be past this point because there's a lot of four stars that are actually on it that are good. So it has to be for New Year's, maybe? Let me look. Now I'm going to New Year's to check it out. As you can see here, my point being that it's been a very long time since we had one is notwithstanding here. Uh, is with standing here. I mean, don't, don't, don't. This is all stuff for future Wookiee to carry. Uh, wait. Maybe it was the panel mission. Was it the final reward? No, it wasn't. Damn. When the fuck did this four star ticket show up? I'm gonna have to pause. One moment. All right. After googling it, I have found it. It is in the 25 million download campaign. Which comes out May 11th, 2022. We are not seeing this shit for another two years. <laughs> at minimum. Um, yeah, and the SR ticket, this is usually what it has. The thing that's good about it is that it has limiteds on it. And story lock limiteds, which is very important. Because story lock limiteds are some of the worst four stars to pull. Because they're usually in terrible banners. Or they're in like weird banners that are out point. And they're like limited, but they're not limited. I mean, you could technically pull on story banner and potentially get them, but your chances of actually doing that are so slim that it's better just to not even try. So yeah, eventually, every year since this has started, people have wanted the four-star ticket to be a part of the advent calendar. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't see that happening for this year. <laughs> just because at a certain point, you gotta stop asking for it. <laughs> it's just never gonna happen. Stranger things have happened, though. I'm not saying it's not out of the realm of possibilities, but at this point, it's been years, and it has not happened. And to be honest with you, I don't want to get one until we can have at least um, some of the fairy knights in it and some of the later story locked dudes. Even though I'm pretty positive I'm going to have a lot of the story locked fairy knights just because I'm going to be doing summons on that banner. But I digress. Either way, that's the thing that most people always want out of the advent calendar, and it's never a thing in there. It is going to be... At this point, it seems like they've narrowed it down to what do the people want. The first year, it was definitely like, you know, let's just give a bunch of stuff and see what sticks. At this point, they know. It's tickets, it's apples, it's QP, it is mana prisms, and it is basically it. We could potentially maybe see some of the newer stuff come in here, but I really do doubt that. I doubt it by a large margin. So, that's kind of what you can expect from the advent calendar. So, enjoy your free ticket that you likely got today. And, yeah. We'll see by the end of it. But, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll be happily to be wrong. But, yeah. That's it for today's video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Peace out.